Hey everyone, welcome back. I think I finally figured out what uh, what I want my first uh, topic to be about. And I kind of want to talk about the nature of dualism, because this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, so I guess we start off, what is duality? And I've actually got definitions for you. So duality is an instance of opposition or contrast between two concepts or two aspects of something, or dualism. So what is dualism? It is a theory that considers reality to consist of two irreducible elements or modes. And this is a very prevalent teaching in Buddhism and Zen um, as part of accepting other people who are different from you. You have to accept that duality is a thing. And this is something that is completely juxtaposed to Sufism, which is similar to Zen, but it's not. And Sufism teaches that there is no duality. Everything is singularity. And as Rumi uh, once said in one of his analogies, uh, he was talking about the human heart and how the human heart is the end of duality. It's where duality ceases to exist and all things join back together as one. And it was part of this, this teaching that the human heart, the soul, is an extension of of the creator that soul is singular despite how many people have it what it inhabits all of these things at the end of the day soul is a singularity so once duality is faced with the soul or the human heart then it simply ceases to exist this is the place where light and dark become the same thing and i've been trying to think about that in in more mathematic terms lately, um, particularly uh, pertaining to symmetry and fractalism. And I'm starting to see a middle ground between uh, spiritual multiplicity, which is the idea that everything has this unique spiritual signature that soul is not a singularity it's actually multiplicity and the middle ground between that and singularity is what I like to call fractal singularity such as fractalism in geometry it's where the pattern ceases to hold the same pattern it, it creates a fractal it's still symmetrical it's replicating itself but it's not the original vector and I think, I think, I'm going to have to look even more into this because, I, I, like I said, I'm still mulling my way through the nature of singularity, how it pertains to soul. And I think that's where it is, where all soul sources from the singularity. But because soul or the singularity is being expressed through the biological equation that is a human being, it creates fractals, which creates differences, uniqueness. That's why every human is unique. Uh, Osho, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but he said, no man is greater than another man, no man is less than another man, but no two are equals. All are unequal because we are unique. It's something beautiful. We're all fractals of this greater singular equation but that's what's been on my mind a lot for the past week um i'd be interested to hear what anyone else has to say about it and uh definitely leave some comments down below because i want to keep figuring this out and the best way for me to do that is to get input from other people so uh i think that's it for this video um i hope you all had a fantastic day today and until we meet again, be notorious.